Welcome back guys, a beautiful morning here on Miami Beach. Right in front of me, I'm gonna show you guys this Fisher Island. And then to the right of me, we have the port where Carnival and Vin uh, Vintage, uh, Virgin and all the cruise lines depart and they come across this way. So let me just show you guys before I get into talking watches. So yeah guys, you get to see the sunrise over there. The ocean is that way. And yeah, this is the view you get if you wake up here in Miami, which is something that makes Miami such a beautiful place to live. Over this way, we have downtown. Well, that's Brickell specifically right here. And then downtown will be more to this side. This is like a paradise to really be in. Now, people always ask me, which do I prefer, Miami or New York? I mean, they all have their good and their bad, but I think for right now, Miami is like number one, number one compared to New York. The one thing about New York I don't like is the, the winters. I don't mind visiting for a week or two or three or whatever, but to actually be there for the whole entire season is miserable. But anyways, this is the view. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. For those of you who aren't in Florida, and yeah, let's just talk watches now. So guys, I don't have a wristwatch on my wrist today. I don't have my Omega Constellation. But in today's video, I'm just gonna talk about the timepieces that I've been going after. Back, you know, a year or two ago, I would always tell myself a timepiece that I wanna get, and then I would get it. I'll be on the hunt, I'll be on the search for it. But lately, I'm just not doing that anymore. I'm not gonna let you guys know I'm looking for this and then eventually show up and show you guys because the market is kind of strange. It's competitive. The prices that I'm expecting, that I'm thinking I'm gonna get, I'm not getting, you know, things are going way above what I would wanna pay. So some of the pieces that I've been going after was the Cartier tank, I mentioned that to you guys. Any Cartier watch, in all honesty. The Omega Speedmaster, Omega Constellations. I don't mind buying two of a, the same timepiece or a different variation of it. So I've been looking at other Constellations, but just different case designs and it's just hard to find things at a great price because everyone's going after them. I've been looking at Rolexes still. Uh, I have my eyes currently on a Rolex Datejust. If the price is right, then I'll get that. You guys might see that soon. Um, Piaget, I almost bought one, but it sold for, I think, 2200 And it was last minute that I saw it up for sale, so... I didn't want to rush into it. Um, what else is there? There's so many timepieces that come across my screen that I'm like, oh, I like this. But then it's like I'm rushing myself and I'm forcing myself to get enough information on the timepiece before buying. And before I end up making a mistake, you know, which who knows, it may be a mistake or maybe not, uh, it gets sold. So I like to take my time and... Yeah, I'm casting my net pretty wide these days. I'm looking for all different uh, brands and models, whatever catches my eyes. And at the same time, when it comes to time pieces that aren't Rolex or AP or pieces that can move quickly, I really want to do my homework and make sure that I don't buy something that is going to be a mistake. You know, I always like to have pieces that I can push off and sell quickly. My Omega Constellation is a time piece I can sell pretty quick if I really want to sell it today, you know, for the right price, I could, I could let it go. But um, yeah, I want you guys to comment down below if there's a timepiece currently that you guys are going after. What are you guys looking for? Uh, for me, I'm looking for any and everything, especially on the vintage side. Some specific, but then I'm just open to any new timepiece that comes across that I see in auction or for sale. I'm looking everywhere in different auctions, even eBay. Uh, I'm looking for timepieces. I, I, I mentioned before I made a video saying that eBay is a place where you have to be careful, but that's it. You just have to be careful. There are deals and gems to be found on eBay. Uh, I like the fact that a lot of people are scared to buy on eBay because that narrows down the pool of people that's going to be looking for a timepiece on eBay. Uh, and then there's other places, there's small auctions where I've made mistakes and buy bad timepieces, but 
I take those bad situations where I made mistakes as lessons moving forward to know what to look for, even in these small auctions where you're able to get deals. The large auctions like Christie's and you name it, those are the ones that are highly competitive. There's a lot of people with big money in them. Uh, so to get a deal, it's going to be hard. There's people out there that have the bread, that have the bag, that's going to be buying these timepieces. And I don't have the bag, so I'm just going to, you know, stick to what I know, stick to the small auctions, stick to, you know, private sales, and hopefully get the deals that I'm looking for. So the last point I'm gonna make is that if you're looking for a modern timepiece or even a neo vintage timepiece, guys, now it's the time to buy vintage where it's gonna be a timepiece that's rare. That's what I'm discussing right now, where it's gonna be harder to find something that's in the condition that I'm looking for, where it's almost great to excellent to mint. That's the condition I'm trying to look for. And these are the pieces that are in demand, especially with the vintage collectors. But for you guys who are looking for like modern, you know, pre-owned, something that's maybe five to 10 years old, you guys should be buying things up right now. The Rolex of Mariners are going for steals right now. You could get a Rolex of Mariner for seven grand when maybe a year or two ago, they were going for nine to 10 grand. So I recommend right now, if you're in the market for a Rolex sub, Rolex Datejust, something that's modern, just buy it right now. You're not gonna lose any money. I think the, the drop or the correction pretty much has completed, in my opinion. Comment down below and let me know if you guys agree or disagree on that point. Anyways, guys, I don't wanna make this video too long. I just wanted to have you guys enjoy the view, see the sunrise. I gotta go work out right now. So thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and stay tuned, guys, for some more videos.